Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and finally I got the got the sound working and I got everything up. Uh, excuse me. And working inside the uh, the. Uh, <laughs> this is the tale of, that you humans have passed down through uncounted generations. It's the Nintendo uh, Switch. It tells of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, like the witches, like the witch of which has never been seen before. Oh, one dark and faithful day, the earth cracked and cracked wide, and Melina forces rushed out from the fissure. How loud is that? Is that like super loud? Trust, trust, trust. Hello. They mounted a brutal assault upon these surface people, driving them back or something. They burnt the forest to ashes, choked the land, sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. By the way, this is my energy drink. It's just water and, and some stuff. They did all of this in their lust to, to take the ultimate power protected by her grace, the goddess. It's a harp. The power she guarded was without an equal. Handed down by the gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire into her reality. <sighs> Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed it in the care of the goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of evil swarming the lands, the goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of earth. <sighs> she sent it skyward beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond the clouds. Oh my gosh. With the humans, ah, with the humans saved, the goddess joined the forces with dwellings of something, dang it. At last, peace was restored to the surface. Turn it down here in just a second. I think it's I think it's louder than my microphone. This is the tale that you humans have told for many generations to generations, for many years, generations. Generation. But there are other legends long hidden away from memory that were intertwined with this tale. Oh. Now a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. The legend that will be forged in your own hand. Glorious. So if you guys didn't know, this was actually an original like Nintendo Wii game. Okay, press A to start. <sighs> okay, point the Joy-Con thing and press Y. Oh, okay, Y. <gasps> there we go. I would like a new adventure. So, B goes back, A selects a new adventure. It's got like a gyroscope thing. That is awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. B, I need caps. Caps, please. Please, please. Good. I'm actually super excited to actually start this series and I need to keep an eye on the time because I will totally get lost in the storylines. <clears throat> it's a puppy. Puffy's hungry. <sighs> Nintendo presents. I wonder, can you use these two buttons on the top as like part of your thing? I don't know. Legend of Zelda. Skyward Sword. Let's go. By the way, this just came out Friday, so this is going to be the first episode ever in like the history of all YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe down below. It's a duck-billed platypus with wings. 
kind of looks like a duck. Oh, yeah. Wait, even though it is HD, did they change the models at all? I can't tell. I can't tell if the models have changed. It still looks low poly. Your hand. Ah! <clears throat> Just kidding. Just kidding. Is that Zelda? Is that Zelda? Hello, Elsmeralda. Oh, come on. This is taking forever. Oh, green. Hello. They did change the model. It's a puppy. Rise, Code. The time has come for you to awaken. Oh, I can press a button. Yay. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny. And it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Code. I fell out of bed. And there's a bird. Hello, bird. <laughs> How did he open it? Just saying. Hmm? Matter. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing that this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine code, today the wing ceremony. Today is the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You better not be keep me waiting, Zelda. It is Zelda! Yay! <laughs> Silly. Silly Zelda. Oh snap. Come on. Okay. How do I Hold on. Ah, there. Help. Help. Oh, no. That's first. Is that first person view? Oh, look at that. Look at it. Glorious. That is awesome first person moving. Ooh, a book. Let's go. Let's go look at the book. Ah, ah. Okay, I'm done with the look. Stop. Hit back. Ooh. Okay, what can we do? There's a chisel. Some wood. Looks like I'm a I'm a carpenter. I make birds. These are my books. Oh, I sat. I can sit and I sat. Sitting, sat. Done. Okay, what's this? What else we got? Oh! I can search stuff. Oh, you found a blue ruby. That's worth five rupees. Better better drop it in your wallet for now. Sweetness! Okay, so. It looks like that's a that's a run. What does that do? Oh, I guess that's recalibrate. <gasps> Ooh, targeting system. Okay, got it. I'm sure it's gonna like explain all this stuff to me, right? Well, I hope it does. Okay, let's go to the door. A to open. Context menu. All right, buddy. Who are you and what do you do? Yeah. Morning code. <clears throat> so today is the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing at the plaza, but you seem to be pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that's Crimson Loftwing of yours. That Crimson Loftwing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him too. 
My bird won last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed is in a race always comes down to skill of the rider. It's something a bird researcher around here. Wait, I'm something of a bird researcher around here. So, you know, if if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. Pippet. All right, Pippet. All right, can we move the camera around? There we go. Pippet's got the yellow sword. He's got his his little yellow half head on. Mm. If you need to know anything about birds, just ask old Pippet. He'll let you know. Okay. Hello, sir. Mm. Hey, Code. <clears throat> the day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. It's time to put what you've learned to use. All that those practice skills I taught you and all the, those academic prowess prowess and structured taught you. If you guys haven't noticed, I hate reading. While we're at it, do you remember how to look around using the controller arrows? Press the control arrows to take a look around your surroundings. Yeah, I did that already. I was looking around. It's pretty cool. I have to keep recalibrating. Yeah. Yeah, we good. We good. You got anything else to tell me, though? What? That reminds me. You always confused instructor Horwell and me. I'm Alwyn, of course. Okay, Alwyn. Alwyn. Kind of like Alan. Alan! Uh, I have white hair and I teach practice uh, practical skills. Instructor Horwell has brown hair and teaches ac academics. Don't forget it. Okay? I uh, should probably not forget that. Alan and Horwell. Got it. Let's just take a look around here, see if we can find any rubies. Okay, there's nothing here. Alright, how did I do that run thing earlier? Was that? Oh, there we go. What's this? Gross. Or is it Gross? Oh, Gross locked his door. He said, stay out, Link. Colwyn and Skirt. Skirt, Skirt. What was that? Are you okay, buddy? He is trying. Hey. Good morning, Code. Today's big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I didn't make the cut. So I'm stuck here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Code, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and, uh, and wow them, buddy. Okay, you need to, uh, let's see. I got it, buddy. Here you go. Just need to go to the kitchen. You got it. Where do I need to put it down at? Is there like a little indicator or a mark or some kind? Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I should probably put it down. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until the last second. What happens? Oh, we just ran out of stamina. That's all. Okay, cool. We're just going to lift that right back up. And... Ooh, throw. Oh! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you think you're doing? You'd better clean that up. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. Can I, can I clean? I can't. I can't clean. I can't clean for you, sir. Tells me to clean, and I don't. I don't know what's going on. Okay, hold on. You need me to move this one too? Here, I just. I pick this up real quick. I got this, buddy. Cannot run when you're carrying big barrels. It's great balance, though. I remember trying to lift a mattress like that over my head, and I ended up hurting my back. It was bad. It was a bad deal. I hope this is the kitchen. All right, let's just set that down. There you go, buddy. All right. Good deed done. We are completed for the day, right? Ah, ah Code, you're here to help me? You're always so kind. I'm happy to take up the offer. 
I need to carry one of these barrels over to the old lady who works in the kitchen. Press A to pick up the barrel and then press A again to put it down under your feet. When you hold something above your head, you can throw it. If you roll, you can also roll things like pots. But we're getting huge trouble if these barrels break. Um, so don't even think about throwing or rolling them. If you're forgetting this, please press the help button. I'll bring up the explanation of what I was pretty, pretty handy, huh? I said, it is pretty handy. Okay, now, how do we roll? Do I roll? <gasps> Dude! That was awesome. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to back up. Check this out, check this out, check this out. Ready? 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 I'm just gonna line it up here. Line it up. Can we do some combat? What, what was the, there we go. Roll it. Oh, I didn't break. Dang it. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, were you the old lady? Oh, Code, you're delivering something for me? That was supposed to be Fledge's job. Anyhow, just bring the barrel here. Yes, here. Uh, okay. Just do, 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 and put it down. <laughs> What's all this? I thought I told Fred, Flat Fledge, I called him Fridge, uh, to carry this. Bah, it's probably for the best. That skinny boy would probably have gotten flat. I'll agree. Some say, don't you have some important ceremony to be held? Hmm. Well, thanks for the help. You're welcome. You were like super mad at me a second ago. What's all this? I thought Fledge was supposed to probably be the best. Skinny boy, flatten. Got it. Then you have some kind of important thing, ceremonies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta go. Let's take a quick peek around here. There is no jump, is there? Whoa, wait. What was that? Hold on. Hold on. Head. Okay. There was something that popped up right there. Somebody go back and, like, comment what that was. What was that flash? Did it tell me how to jump? Is this my room? This is Fledge. Of course Fledge would lock his room. He's not in it. Okay, this is mine. That's code. Okay. So, uh, we've gone around the room this way. We didn't go up here or in there. I bet this is another room. What do you think? Restroom. They have restrooms? What game takes into account? Hello. Excuse me a moment. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yes! It flushed! Okay. Clean hands are happy hands. Okay, go ahead and clean your hands then. I mean, you just went to the toilet. Just, okay. Keep it squeaky clean in here. Alright, alright. Family friendly. Family friendly. Oh my goodness. Look, they even have a way to like prop up the window for you. So you, you can get the smell out of here. That's awesome. That's a that's a good bathroom. <clears throat> okay, let's go. I need to finish right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, heading outside. Skyloft. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Was I supposed to get up there somehow? What is that? Is that a bug? Can I get the bug? Oh. I did it! I didn't do anything. I just killed a bug. Was I supposed to like grab the bug or something? Alright. Well, that's no good. Can I go out this door? It's not letting me go out the door. Okay. Bird statue. Okay. Save and quit. Save. Cancel. We'll go to save. Yes. Save. Saving the progress. Good deal. 20 minutes in, and we got to a bird. <laughs> okay. 
Hey, code up here. Hey, there he is. How well, right? Poor well. Good morning, code. Today is finally the day that you of the. Good morning to you, code. Today is finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask about you. Target me, and we can have a quick chat. Excellent. Always remember that you can target someone and talk to them easily. And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face forward your view. Okay. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come up here and join me? You should be able to climb up if you use the dash to the top of the wood box, don't you think? Then you can make a jump fairly easy. Try climbing up here. All right, while moving, press B. Okay. Nice. Hip hop. Hip hop. The hip 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 hop and you don't stop to rock and the bomb bomb. Okay, there. So, what are you up to? Rushing to get the last minute bird riding practice in this morning code? Oh, you have someone to meet? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Garapora, Gar Garapora, has a pet named Mia, and well, she's scampered off again. Look! Over there, do you see her? Headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony, I thought that maybe I should feed her. But the ceremony is about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes. And well, you see, will you help me out and go retrieve... I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. No, I'm busy. I did not agree to this. Fantastic. So, you'll do it. I know you're in a hurry, so I'll be really appreciate you taking the help time and blah, 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 blah. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there hanging off the ledges and you can climb under the roof and stuff like that. I'm terribly sorry. I know that you're quite, uh, I, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate this. Okay. Well. Hip hop. Can I let go? I can let go. Is this where the climbing thing comes from, from the new Zelda? Hop. Hop, hop. That was easy. Okay. Should we... Oh, push. Good. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. Hippity hop. I got you. What are you? You're not a cat. What is that? It's a raccoon! Headmaster! Can I hit the bell with it? Bing! Okay. Nice work. He just drops it. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know that you're busy, Coach. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet and he should he should be up by the statue of the goddess. Okay. Do I need to go get changed for the ceremony? Or is like, does nobody care? I believe Zelda is there with him. So you should hurry along. Oh, yes. You should give... I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please, here, take this. Okay. It's a ruby. 20 bucks. Not bad. Don't spend it all in one place. I probably will. Probably going to spend it all. Can we save here? <gasps> we can save. Save. That one. Yes. Oh, you guys can't see my hands. I'm, like, doing this little movement down here. So... What's wrong with the door, buddy? Holy cow, that's some hair. Morning, code. How's life? Jack Amar. Jack Amar. Jack Amar? Morning, code. How's life? Did you manage to get even a wink of sleep last night? Think you might be tossing and turning all night thinking about that big ceremony today. What am I doing? Oh, just fixing this here gate. It's been squeaky lately, and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. 
Hey, haven't you already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning? Have you? Wait, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning? Just face a bird statue over there, say a short prayer, and save your progress. As you know, the bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at each statue every time you run by one. Wow. <laughs> a prayer in time saves... saves... wait. A prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. I have no clue what you're saying, dude. This, this is... Br what is that? Hello. You got a stamina fruit. This per, 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 this fruit replenishes your stamina gauge. Like instantly? Nice. So it is, it's an instant thing. Oh look, it's a couple of ducks. Oh, what was that? Oh, got it again. So I don't need to pick it up every single time. Can I jump up there? Oh, stop, stop, stop. Wait, did I just find a secret area? Hang down. What is this? What is this? Oh, I found a chest. I found a chest, everyone. Kick. 20 rubies. That's what I'm talking about. That's some sweetness right there. Okay. Can we jump up that? I can't jump up that. But that's it for there. Leap. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm an awesome jumper. Grab that, grab that. There you go, there you go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, 27 minutes in. This is definitely not a speed run. If you were coming here for a speed run, you found the wrong channel. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you guided by the servant of the goddess. I did not say okay, Google. Unite the earth and sky, bright light to the land. Hey, good morning, Code. To see, oh, oh. I'm glad to see that my loft wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. <clears throat> Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. What if it is the one? It sounds gorgeous. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked Father about it, and he said that it's called a harp. <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself, and we got used... We got... And we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and the outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first one to see me like this, Code. So, what do you think? Uh, nice, great, uh, great. You look amazing, Zelda. Ha, I think so too, but it's nice to know that you agree. Thanks, Code, you're welcome. Well, ah, oh, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Code, you're here too. Outstanding. 
It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. <laughs> no doubt today's ceremony had you excited too. Uh, close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the Postress Postrace? Post post race. Oh, you'll get to participate in the post race uh, ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Code hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his Loftwing, he's, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know. You know what? I don't, I didn't say that your, your outfit was great. I'll insult it just the same. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what the history is. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Yeah, calm it down there, girl. <clears throat> no need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skills of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But, you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Code and his Loftwing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestowed upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but the first meeting between Code and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loftwing. It is a breed so rare that we sure we were sure for some time that it had that it had vanished from the line. Yes, the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection in that moment they met. Do you recall when Code and his loftwing of the his and that loftwing of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped on and that bird gracefully flew away. Without even a moment's, uh, moment of instruction, they were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship that he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you either, dear. My dear. That's right. Zelda's jealous. That's why she was insulting me. His bird's red. Why didn't I get a red bird? Red's my color. <sighs> ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of that powerful bond shared by Code and his bird. Anyone who is part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Ho ho! Ah, uh, gotcha. This contest has nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Code doesn't fly fast enough during this race, what if Code messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a Knight? Then he'll just have to scoop the poop off the rest of the... I'm just kidding. Calm down, my dear. It'll be fine. Honestly, it's the most... It's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about code. She does. Listen, code, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. What? Come on, you'll thank me later. What?
Here we go. Come on now. Jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Huh? Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. You can't sense your bird out there. Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Of course you go. Off you go. Okay, Code, go ahead. Just press something. Sure, it's taking a long time to get there. Something's wrong. Hang in there, Code. I've got you. Crazy lady. Karen just chucked me off the edge. What was that about? Seriously, Zelda? Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? Oh, you're talking to the bird? What about the friend you just shoved off the... It's very odd, Code. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master? It's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Code? This is quite a problem, especially considering that wing ceremony is about to start. Code. <coughs> Code, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later, okay? You better go off. You better go proper proof. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. I will, but it's like 40 minutes in. Was this glitchy right there? Was there a little bit of a glitch? My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year's instructor... This, well, this year, Instructor Horwell is proceeding over the ceremony. Code, you should go and explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race for just a little bit so you can find your bird. Okay. <clears throat> but Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Code asked the instructor Harold, he'd probably just come and talk to you about it. Oh, quite true, as usual. You make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Code, run along and... Tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Got it. Okay, so we're running again. That bird dead. Oh, no, no. You just sprained your wing, right? Okay. Let's go searching around here. Is there anything hidden back here? Huh? Hoi! Hoi! That's quite the little area up here, isn't it? I think I'll go for just a second more. Okay, hold on. I went over there last time, right? And we did find a, a little chest thing. Okay. All right, Mr. Horwell. Who's this? Who's this? Who are you? Hello. Don't men open doors for ladies anymore? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh. Mm? All right, Karen. Care, Karen. Is it Karen? 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 Oh, it's you, Ko. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at the school the whole time. Here, did you want me to open the door for you? Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just go inside without you. That wasn't the point. All right, let's run in a circle. Right back outside. There you go. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna open it for you now. I mean, I went through it already. Why don't you just, okay, you know what? Help! No. What's wrong, Code? You're looking a little pale. What? 
Your loft wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? It looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on a feather or in the ceremony hinges on a feather or not you can find that bird on time. <laughs> Whether or not instead of feather. <laughs> Excuse me. I see the headmaster has summoned me. All right then. I'll speak with him immediately. I still owe you out I still owe you for helping me out earlier. So don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft with. Sweet. Oh, I can get out that door now. Whee. And we should probably save. And you know what? We're gonna keep going. Save. That one. Yes. Saved. So we can get out here now. Yay. What is he doing? Okay, can I catch the butterfly? Catch the butterfly? Catch the butterfly? Can't catch the butterfly. I should be more worried about my my wing. How is how is he doing that? Okay, you know what? I bet he'll teach me. All right, buddy. What are you doing there? Oh gosh. Hold up, code. Hey, hey, code. Could you help me out with something? All you have to do is dash and roll into the tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then when you're just in front of the tree, do a roll and into it. So, come on, please. All right, so, while dashing, shake the left controller. Whoa, you did it. The sky bug, the sky stag beetle. Wait up. Nice. Rubies. Rubies. Can I get more like that? Oh, that was close. Just one, huh? Okay. What about into this stuff? Maybe not. Okay. Hop. All right, let's get to dashing. What is this? What is this? I bet I'll figure that out later. Oh, 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 there's a sign. Hold on. Read. Skyloft Plaza. Oh. Is that what this is? Is this Skyloft Plaza inside? I know that song. Ooh. Hey, Code. Today's a big day, isn't it? You know, the wing ceremony thing. Win this thing and you'll be bumped, you'll be bumped to, to the senior class. Here in Skyloft, you'll be able to ride a loft wing that separates the kids from the adults. And if your goal is to become a knight, well, good technique is even more important. We all, all of us learn to fly in the hard way. Lots of practice. Sweet. Okay. What can I steal? Is there anything I can steal? Can I search things? Can I sleep in your bed? What's in here? <gasps> Yay. You really shouldn't open other people's covers without permission. Oh, okay. It's not how it worked in the past. It broke everything. Ooh, rope. Can't get the rope. Feel kind of limited. Take out to these big days and it. Bumped in senior class. So, Pero. It's kind of like Sparrow, only without the S. Alright, so he's just telling me lots of practice. I'll go back out the door. Ow, 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 my leg. Got a heart. This item of life giving you a of life, life force. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, Code. Hey, it's Keat. It's Creek Craft. Uh, how's it going? The wing ceremony is about to begin, right? Remember when Pippet? Won the last one right at the last second. I was, it was so close. Now that was a race. Hey, your Crimson Loftwing will be the end of the race, right? 
I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. I am too. As soon as I can find him. Maybe if I get up on top of these boxes, then I can look around. No crimson muffling. Okay, what's these guys doing? You know, Groose, that sure was a pain with all of the scratching and pecking. Of course it was. I thought that big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight. But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's getting, uh, he's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <clears throat> oh, oh, whoa, Code, you, uh, just how long you been standing there? What's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading. Oh Goose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just You're just des you're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> Well, sorry, pal. Goose, Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. <coughs> you might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where's that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. <laughs> You don't think a tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Bring it on. Give him back. I should have said nice hair. Huh? I've got no idea what you're talking about. You know, you, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget that you and Zelda go way back. Bruce, you gotta leave it alone, dude. <clears throat> You've been friends with You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. I don't, it doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Gross? Oh, Zelda. Hey, uh, nah, it's, uh, Oh, don't even try it, Bruce. You're picking on code again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose... You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you, uh, f forget it. I was supposing anything. Okay. Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Code. Hope you find your bird, cause, or else you're going to have to sit out today's race. That'll be a major setback towards knighthood. So find that bird or get real used to taste of failure. It's your special flavor. <laughs> well, isn't that awesome? I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. You think, Zelda? Code, those guys aren't... Code, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. Okay. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Thanks, Zelda. Father said he should, uh, he'd talk to the instructor how, 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 how well about delaying the start of the wing ceremony. So don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Good. Whee! The whistle always, I, I think that it sounds like a scream. Ah! To jump off the edges. All right, 
Let's go up here. Oh, I could leap that. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Uh, wait. What's this stone tablet? Can I read this? Let sound of the goddess song beneath the light radiance upon her choose. Chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. Okay. Can I just stand here? Standing here, looking into the sun. That's not helping at all. Okay. And I did not want to jump off there. So. I guess it's back down from here. <gasps> okay, go. Cool. I thought I was going to hurt myself. Okay. There's nothing around the edges. So. Jump. I don't see any doors. What's the sign? Plaza? Knights Academy residence qu Residential Quarters. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead and save. Just because we're, we're getting close to the the end. We got like nine minutes left. Save file? Yeah, we're going to save it. Saving in progress. Don't touch. Fine. Hello. Who are you? What's up, Code? You seem to be in a hurry. What's this about your bird? Oh, that, cr that unusual crimson lock. I have... Uh, have I seen him? I'm sorry, I haven't. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view from the whole town way up there. The statue of the goddess is a huge statue to the north of Skyloft. You, you've been there, right? Head toward the place with the X mark. Can't miss it. Isn't that where I just was? What's that chest right there? Wait a second. Okay. Oh, 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 there we go. Don't I need to go, like, looking around here and stuff? I mean, it did give me the clue, so... If you're ever lost, you can press the minus button and see the map wherever you are. So, uh, help is always just the press of a minus button away. Thank you. Oh, wait. Minus. Okay, so it's telling me I need to go there, right? Okay, fine. We'll head up that direction. Hop, hop. Oh. Oh, that is a horrible slowdown. Oh, no! your step out there. You can't always depend on uh, knights like me to swoop in and save you. Hey. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Whoopsies. Hey, hey Code. Pippet. Over here. I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here. Yes? Yes? Where did he go? Hold on. Where did he go? Oh, there they are. Hey, guys. Oh, that was an evil look. Hey, Code. I just want... Uh, I was just looking for you. I heard your loft wing was gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this. When I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. I'm sorry, Code. I really wanted to tell you, but if Bruce found out I told you, it sounds like Bruce forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him. Tell him the truth. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning up in the dining hall, Bruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice that I was there and started talking about plans to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. They said if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture a bird and to hide them near the near a waterfall. 
Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at the map. That's right, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked with the X. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. Forgive me, Code. I can't bring such... A, I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Dude, it's not your fault. You got threatened. I mean, I would hope that you would do the right oh. thing. Oh, one more thing, Code. If you're going to go to the waterfall, remember that you have some dangerous things there. Creepy crawly things. And that you should carry a sword. I think I saw Knight Commander go on... Go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him to, if you could borrow one. Do we have time, though? We have, like, five minutes. Oh, wait a second. Yes? Hey, it's Code. You still want to get some sword practice in? You still want to get in some sword practice, even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go in, and, bleh, go in there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if you need anything, you don't understand about handling the sword, go ahead and ask. Okay, so, going into the back room, gonna grab a sword for myself. Uh, these look all dull. That one looks crappy. That's a broom. There we go. You've got the practice sword. Students and Knights of the Academy practice with, this, with these. It looks like a fairly sharp blade. Press the plus at any time to look at the items that you are carrying. Okay. Practice sword. Oh, oh, can we go left and right? Hold on. Oh, there's bugs. Cool. All right, let's head back out and practice. Open the door. 57 minutes. We're getting close to an hour. All right, buddy. Teach me the sword. Oh, yes. You want to learn about how to use the sword? Yes, please. Oh, so the basics of the swordsmanship. It's important to think about the direction that you're swinging your sword. If you're swinging it vertically, you'll do a vertical slash. If you swing it sideways, you'll do a side slash. And if you thrust it forward, you'll do a thrust. <gasps> There's also more advanced techniques like spin attack. It's perfect move for when you're surrounded by enemies. If you remember these moves, you can handle yourself in a, any fight. Just remember the fundamentals. Always press the ZL button. That's this one back here. To target enemy as soon as you see it. Try getting some good practice on the lo those logs. If you forget to swing your sword, you can always check the help with that button. Don't forget your fundamental fundamentals. Once you slice up those logs, I'll set it up so you can try out some big moves. Okay. Oh, <gasps> nice. Oh, no way. <laughs> Woo! What does this one need to be? Nope. Oh, okay. Um. Is it not working or what? Okay, let's go thrust. That's good. Diagonal slash. Diagonal slash. That's right, Code. You really strong swordsman. Easy to teach too. Makes uh, you make this instructor proud. Are you ready for the spin attack? Yeah. Great, now I'm going to surround you with the logs to use the spin attack and cut them without moving from that spot. Okay. Swing both the controllers horizontally together. I almost hit my microphone. I was like that close from, from hitting the mic. I might have to take down the green screen so, why don't you try a fatal blow? Sure, let's do it. All right, when your enemy is down, target it with the ZL button and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log 
When it's down, try finishing it off with this technique. Okay, so do what? So... Slash... Oh, nice! That's the way. Fatal Blow is also an effective move to use right after you use your shield. Or a well-placed spin attack. Knock your enemy on its back. But monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to land a Fatal Blow very quick before it gets up. Okay, can we do that again? Was there anything else I needed help with? What about this thing? Why can't I do this? Wow. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I got some combos. Diagonal, diagonal, side, side. Nope, side, side. Hold on. That is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> oh. Nope. Hold on. Reset. There you go. No, down from the top. That's right, code. You really got a strong sword on to teach you to make some structure proud. Uh, ready for the spin attack? Not yet. I'm done. I think we're we're done, aren't we? Oh yeah, you want to learn about how to use the sword? Yes, please. Uh, basic swordsmanship is important to think about the direction of swinging the sword. Swing it vertically, you do a vertical slash, and sideways, you do a side slash. Okay, that's it. That's what we did, right? Remember those handle yourself and anything, fundamentals, target. Yep, good. Getting good practice on those logs. Forget the swing, you can use the help, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's get out of here. Hey, Code. You can't take swords outside the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out like that? Oh, what? Your loft wing is missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I can make an exception this once, but remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords, so I don't want to see you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get into a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you have plenty of practice on those logs first, and once you get outside uh, with that sword, only use it when absolutely have to. Got it? You got it. That's fine. That's it. That's all we got time for. But let's go. Let's go find a safe spot. Oh. Wait. Is there a save around here? Hold on. Okay. Save it. Yes. That one right there. Save. Awesome. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Zelda Skyward Sword Skyloft. Skyward Sword. With me, Heath Haskins, good primate. Don't forget to like, comment. Oh dang it. Put it away. Put it away, buddy. Put put it no, just cancel. Just cancel. How do I put away the sword? There we go. B puts it away. Good. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. Subscribe all out of the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice if you want to go for it. If that's not your thing, if you don't want to subscribe, fine. Don't. You were here. You watched. You had fun. Love you guys for that. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.
Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.